to demo video demonstration of email encryption. Use case 1. Alice is an end user that needs to send an email to Bob, a new external customer. This email contains personally identifiable information in both the body of the message as well as within a PDF file attachment. Totemo Mail is able to identify such information within the email based on policies set. Furthermore, it also interfaces with other data loss prevention solutions such as RSA or Semantic. If the company does not have any central policies in place, Alice can manually trigger the encryption. A wide variety of options is available. For the greatest possible compatibility with all email clients, Totemo Mail does not rely on plugins or add-ins for these clients. Examples for encryption triggers are the natively available SMIME encryption buttons. Exchange message classifications. or MIME headers such as Priority, Importance, or Confidentiality. Of course, the encryption process can also be triggered by using keywords in the subject line or in the body of the email. Since Bob does not have any email encryption product or service enabled on his end, he needs to be onboarded. The onboarding process can be easily adapted to a company's own needs. Essentially, we differentiate two strategies. The first onboarding strategy is completely independent from the sender. Here, Bob decides himself how he would like to receive his encrypted message. The second onboarding strategy is controlled and guided by the sender. Here, Alice controls the onboarding of Bob. Let's have a look at strategy one where Bob decides how he would like to receive his encrypted message. Alice has previously sent her message to Bob. Since this email contains personally identifiable information, Totemo Mail automatically triggers the encryption process. Bob is a new recipient and Totemo Mail does not know which encryption technology Bob has at his disposal. Therefore, a notification is sent to Bob. This notification explains to Bob how he can receive his encrypted email. If Bob already has encryption capabilities such as SMIME or OpenPGP, he can simply reply to this notification and send back his public key. This key is then used to encrypt the message for Bob. If Bob has no encryption capabilities, Totemo Mail offers him several alternative encryption technologies. He can simply choose the one most convenient to him. To choose the encryption technology, Bob clicks on Register in the notification. He also needs the one-time password to authenticate himself. After Bob has successfully authenticated himself, he can choose from a list of alternative encryption technologies offered by Totemo Mail. The first one is Totemo Mail Webmail, a pool technology that allows Bob to easily read his email. The Webmail portal also offers functions like Reply, Forward, Secure Compose, Download, and more. The second option is Totemo Mail Pushed PDF, which is a push technology that converts the email, including all attachments, into an encrypted PDF document. The third option allows Bob to install an SMIME certificate into his email client. The last option is a push technology based on Cisco Ironport email encryption with an on premises key store. Bob decides to use the Totemo Mail Push PDF encryption technology. After he has finished the registration process by filling out the form and setting his own password, he can close the browser. Bob then receives the encrypted email from Alice. This email is a notification with instructions on how to read the email. Additionally, a PDF document is attached. When Bob opens the PDF, an authentication form is displayed, where he fills in his password and clicks Submit. The password is validated by Totemo Mail and Alice's email is displayed. 
Bob can read the message and is able to open the PDF attachment. Depending on the configuration, Bob can also send replies to Alice or forward the message to other recipients.